Hey, I'm Melanie Trailer, and um, I just wanted to make a little announcement that Cinnamon Tea is coming back at the end of February, and I'm going to show you a bunch of Cinnamon Tea quilts. So this will be, I think it's fourth run, uh, and it'll be coming back at the same time as the Lighthearted Collection, which I talked about um, maybe a video or two videos ago, but um, they'll be here at the same time. Uh, I spent the entire day working on mock-ups um, for cinnamon tea, so my eyes might be a little puffy because lots of computer time. Um, anyway, let me just show you the fabrics. Um, so I'll pop them on now, and uh, this collection, like I said, came out uh, last March, and the uh, colors... Ugh, the colors, I don't, I don't think I've gotten the colors more me, uh, on any of the other lines. Um, I went to, uh, Sedona and Mount Zion and Bryce Canyon and, um, Grand Canyon and lots of places out west, uh, back in 2021. And I took a lot of pictures and all of these colors kind of came from that vacation. So, um, I kind of pulled colors from my photos. Um, so that's kind of where the inspiration came from for the colors uh, for the collection. Um, I drink cinnamon tea every single day. I usually have three cups in the morning. Uh, I just love, I love drinking tea. I've actually had to cut it back. So um, I miss my evening uh, tea routine, but three is enough, I guess. Um, so anyway, the collection has a very loose uh, tea theme happening on it. You'll, tea, you'll see teacups and things like that, but it's very loose. Um, it's mostly florals that you would see on mugs or vintage mugs and things like that. Um, so let me show you these. Let me get to these quilts because they are definitely the funnest part looking at quilts, right? And then we'll move to some of the mock-ups and how to order. One is not completely Cinnamon tea, I've got a couple of extras in there, but it's mostly cinnamon tea minus any of the low volumes. So I took all the low volumes out for this quilt and just focused on a more saturated look. This is trippy, by the way. And um, if you've taken my trippy class um, over on the quilt class website, you should recognize this quilt because it's the one from the class. Let me get up here on these bricks. All right, and that is my trippy. I think this is like, I want to say like my eighth or my ninth trippy, but I could be off on those numbers. Um, the back of this quilt is also in cinnamon tea. So here's the back. Um, there's this uh, slow down fabric and this is uh, Stitchy in Boho Peach. And you might recognize this fabric. I use it as binding all the time. Let me give you a little bit of a close-up of the quilt. And um, there's a few other fabrics in, uh, in this besides uh, cinnamon tea, by the way. I think I mentioned that, but it's mostly cinnamon tea. And the color palette is just... I love, love, love this one. Um, I'll show you a couple of pictures of this quilt as well, just so you can get a look at it in, like, better lighting. Okay, this next one you have seen recently. I think I was showing this one off for a different reason, but this is Soul Shine. This is also cinnamon tea, and the background I used on this one is vanilla cream. So I talked about this, I think, in a, in a couple videos ago, that that vanilla cream solid just really looks nice uh, with this collection. The back of this one is actually in my very first collection, so it doesn't have a matching back, but the colors go really well with it. All of my uh, fabrics tend to match up color-wise a little bit. Here's a close-up. This one is actually um, in one of the mock-ups. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, yeah, so, so that's social. This is probably my third favorite quilt that I made in 2022. I'll show you a couple more pictures of it as well so you can get you know a better look and some better lighting all right 
So this was my favorite quilt that I made in 2022. This is Lulu Louise. And I think this one just really um, plays off the colors well in cinnamon tea because it's got kind of an ombre thing going. Um, this is a big one. So this again is Lulu. Let me try to pick it up halfway. I love this part right here, all those pretty shades. I usually have this quilt um, on the foot of my bed. But Lulu pattern, Lulu, Lulu Louise is a pattern in my book, A Life with Quilts. And um, we did a quilt along for this last spring. So if you, you know, wanted to work through the quilts along yourself, it's there. Um, this quilt is really heavy. <laughs> Let me get you a close up. There are all those fabrics and all that yummy, earthy, deserty colors. Um, I will put up a couple pictures of this one as well. All right, so this one I actually haven't shown you yet, um, but I'm going to be showing it to you next week. This is Sassy Granny. I just finished it. Ah, it is mostly cinnamon tea. There are a maybe two fabrics in it that don't belong to cinnamon tea as far as the foreground goes. All right, but there is Sassy Granny. And I think I took out the dark brown on this one, so I didn't use that dark brown in it, but all those corals and peaches and blushes, I think there's a little bit of gold. They're all just doing their thing without the brown, so I like it that way too. The collection is pretty versatile, I think, where you could make it dark and you could make it light. This one also has cinnamon tea on the back. There's those teacups and some more of that uh, slow down fabric. And then the binding is also uh, stitchy in Terra. Um, I don't have any pictures of this one to show yet, but I'll be doing a reveal on it next week and I'll, I'll show you all the details of this one then. I actually just pulled it out of the dryer today and I'm just... Ah, it feels nice. It feels all cozy and warm. So I think I have maybe um, two projects that I don't have in front of me, in front of me, to show you that I also made in cinnamon tea. So I'll pop uh, photos up. So this quilt is a Dresden quilt. Um, I made this one last summer, and this is a free quilt pattern uh, over on my website, SouthernTrimQuilts.com, and. I love this quilt as well. Um, I ended up gifting this one. So that is a Dresden quilt. Um, and this next one is a pillow that I made. This is from the Bohippian quilt pattern. Uh, Bohippian quilt pattern also comes with a pillow pattern included. Um, and this one was made all in cinnamon tea too. All right, so that is the quilt show. Um, let me show you um, the, the mock-ups and how to order. Show you the, I'm really, really excited to show you these mock-ups, but they take forever. <laughs> I have, like I said, literally all day long. That's all I've done today. All right, so you want to come over here to meanderandmake.com and click that little arrow beside fabric. Scroll down till you get to collections, and then you just go and find cinnamon tea. They're in alphabetical order. Cinnamon tea. All right, and here are the mock-ups. All right, so this is attic window, and the the base part of the um, listing will get you the fat quarters for the foreground for attic window, but you can, you also have the option of adding a background to it. And I'll just flip through these real quick so you can see all the backgrounds that I was choosing to go with this. Oh my goodness, that's Yarrow. Um, I think I like of it, well, I like vanilla cream and the Kona Ivory the best, but let me show you Kona Sand because it's pretty too. Ooh. Just a tad bit muddier, I think. All right, so that is Attic Window. Inner Beauty, I was so excited to put this one together last night. Uh, oh my goodness, I might have to make another Inner Beauty just so I can make this because that is just owning me right now. So um, that is Inner Beauty. And you get, in this kit, you get everything that you need uh, for the quilt top. 
uh, Sugar Bear. Oh, so pretty. This one, again, it comes with the 15 uh, fat quarters that you need to make Sugar Bear. Um, but you can add this background. And let me just, there's the Kona Cream again. Kona Bone. Here's Vintage Lace. This is one of my favorite backgrounds. Um, Kona Sand. Ooh. And then Colorworks Ivory. Um, so that is Sugar Bear. Let's see what else we got. Um, Soul Shine. This is the one that I showed you. So you could ha you could make that exact same quilt. Um, I used Vanilla Cream. Uh, so you have an option of adding that background um, to this quilt. This would be the one if you wanted it to look exactly like mine. This color works vanilla cream, but you also have a couple other ones. And this one's got some different options. That's champagne. Oh, let me show you the English toffee. Ooh, <laughs> so pretty. And light parfait. I like that one too. Although the peaches kind of get lost just a smidgen, but I still, still think it would be cute. Uh, anyway, um, there's all of these. They do the same thing. Sassy Granny. I really like that one. Uh, Hello Posy. So cute. More background options down here. Um, so you could order one of these kits if you wanted to just have enough to make a single quilt. This one has some extra options for background that the other ones don't have. Um, There is an English toffee again, but let me show you Georgia peach because Georgia peach was really pretty. Ooh, I like that. And then toasty walnut was cute too. I like that too. Um, I think I used Kona wheat, which I might could get back in stock if somebody wanted it. Um, so there's a hand, we have a handful of yardage left on this collection from our last run, but it's like one or two in stock. So if you wanted to order the entire collection, just go to page two. This is the whole collection. There's 25 prints in this collection and you can choose fat quarters or you can choose uh, half yards. One more listing I want to show you is this one right here. This is if you wanted backings um, for quilts or you know if you just wanted a couple of them. We are pre-selling in the one yard increments um, and you you know you can order as many as you want but if you click on one of these listings it shows you the fabric um, and you could just go through and get whichever one that you wanted or whatever you need. Um, when we get them in stock, w this listing will disappear and um, you'll be able to order a fat quarter or a much smaller increments before the pre-ordering. It's in one yard increments. Um, that I meant to say that too when I was showing you the kits. The kits will disappear as soon as I order yardage. So if you are wanting a kit, don't wait till early February to order it. Uh, or don't wait much after early February. We will probably be placing our order for these uh, fabrics, I want to say, um, maybe around the 10th of February. So after that, the kits will disappear and you'll you'll still be able to get bundles and yardage, but just not the kits and not the one yard cuts. I um, also just want to again say that these fabrics are arriving late February. So if you place an order, you may want to just order pre-orders separately from any and all orders, because if you order them with in-stock items, your in-stock items will hold until your pre-order is ready to ship. So just a heads up about that. Um, I think that's all. Thank you for watching.